Are you looking to learn CAD software such as Siemens NX or SolidWorks? If you are, our books have you covered. With easy to follow examples and definitions from beginner to advanced, you will almost certainly learn something new. Purchase a PDF or paperback in our store today. Hello everyone, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and today's little video is about the assembly cut. In NX you have the ability to create geometry that only exists in the assembly and uh, it has to be cut to parts that are already there. So just to show you uh, what this assembly is all about, we have a bottom plate, we have two incarnations of the bars, we've got a bunch of plates and this is a um, a component array and we've got a top plate and uh, the thing about um, weldments in general is that when you weld a bunch of things together there tends to be warpage and so um, you don't necessarily want to machine things before you uh, before you weld them together you want to weld them together first and then machine them so for example I'm going to put a weld between uh, these two members here like so, apply that, then I want one here, and the uh, NX weld tool is superb, as you can see, and uh, I would laboriously weld the rest of these, and uh, on a drawing I would be able to do a cutout, uh, I'm sorry, a callout, an automatic callout, so that's really good, uh, and then, so now that I've got it all weld together, let's just assume that I've welded all of those, um, I can then start making the geometry that I could use to make the cut. For this example, there's a groove that I want to cut in the bottom plate and one of these, uh, one of these uh, medium plates. So what I'm going to do is create an extrude, and I'm going to put it on this plane right here, and I'm going to define the shape of the extrude. So it looks like this. Okay, I'm going to go into the constraints and I'm going to do a midpoint constraint from here to there good and I'll give it some basic dimensions so this dimension is going to be two inches and the dimension from here to here will be one and a half inches or one inch like that and I'm just going to now finish that and extrude it so I'm going to extrude it by um, well, enough to go through the bottom plate and this plate, so I'll just say uh, Boolean none, say no Boolean, say okay. And now that we've used no Boolean, we're going to go ahead and say uh, assembly cut in home more. Here it is, assembly cut. With assembly cut, we select the targets. There's a target, there's a target, and we will select the tool right there like that. Boom. Say OK. Uh, uh, I screwed it up. Hold on. Let's do that one more time. Let's get rid of the sheet bodies here, just in case. OK. So I'm going to say um, uh, assembly cut. And the target is this and this. Uh, it says hide tool. So I'm going to select the tool and say OK. So there you have it. Uh, this emulates the process of welding these all together and then cutting a groove out of the two of them. So now that we've done this in the assembly, I'm going to go back to the um, individual components like the bottom plate and say open in window and show you that that cut does not go through the bottom plate. So that's that and the other plate. And it's interesting because these are instances. These are are. You know, it's the same component. It's the plate three, and I can open, I can unpack like that. There you go. And so, for example, this plate right here, I will open it in window and show you that there's no cut in there. So the uh, cutout only exists in the assembly, and therefore it's called an assembly cut. Very powerful technique, especially when you're doing weldments and things of that nature. If you you could also use it in um, situations where you're um, you know, uh, not just welding things, but riveting things, fastening things. Uh, but anytime you have a second op that is done on an assembly of a bunch of parts, you could use the assembly cut. Again, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. If you like the video, please 
Uh, like and subscribe, help us out, um, interact with us, give us a comment that helps the algorithm get it out there, and we really appreciate your viewership. Thanks again, Steve Sandler.